K-Block. Man, thanks for the ride. I appreciate it. Oh! What the fire, K-Block? You are Josh Derichko. And you are going to practice, but not without a ride in the soccer sedan. We're doing this, huh, man? All right. All right. That's right. I will ask you questions. You get three right. You win a prize. You get three wrong. You're out. I will still get you to practice, but you're going to make the whole team sprint. All right. Sounds good to me, man. Ready to do this? Absolutely. Let's do it. Beautiful. Let's go for a ride in the soccer sedan. If you need help with one of the questions, you can phone a teammate, Josh Grossman, on the line to help you out. Do you know what today's topic is? I do not. It is St. Patrick's Day! All right. So, all of the questions will be relating to either the Irish National Football Team or the SSS Airtricity League, the top flight of football in Ireland. Keeper, are you ready for the first question? Shoot. Question one. This player is retired from the Irish national team. He signed off in 2016, scoring a goal in his final match. He is the most capped player of all time in Irish football and has more goals than any other player on the Irish national team. Which player am I talking about? Is it A, Landon Donovan, B, Manuel Neuer, C, Didier Drogba, or D, Robbie Keane? I'm gonna go with D, Robin Keane. Goal! Yes! There is only one Robbie Keane, no, as they say. Awesome, awesome, good stuff. Obviously, that was an easy one. We gotta splice things up here, make it difficult with the second question. All right. Question two. In 2007, the SSC Airtricity League became the first league in Europe to do what? Was it A, implement goal line technology, B, impose a salary cap on all teams. C, make players have a dress code to matches. Or D, abolish the offsides rule. I will, I will go with A, implement goal line technology. Well, I mean, you would think that because you're a goalkeeper, but that's, that's not the right answer. <laughs> it's actually B, implement a salary cap in the league. All right. Yep, you know what that means. That's a foul. All right. That's a foul, Josh. Hard to, hard to call foul on keepers. Question three. In November of 1983, the Irish national football team had their biggest win ever when they hammered Malta in a Euro Cup qualifier. How many goals did they score? Was it A, seven, B, eight, C, nine, or D, 14? Shot in the dark on this one. Hey, we'll go middle road. I will go B with eight. Goal! Oh, yes! <laughs> we are going to practice, and you go with the right answer. Yeah, absolutely. Well done, well done. Question four. Which team is the defending champs of the Airtricity League? Is it A, St. Patrick's Athletic? B, Shamrock Rovers, C, Dundalk, or D, Celtic Football Club? Just to be sure, I think I will phone a friend on this one. Phone a teammate, gotcha. We're gonna get Josh Grossman on the line. You like Josh Grossman? Josh Grossman played right in front of me the whole season. One of my best friends, good stuff. Let's get him on the line. Hello, K-Block. Josh, what's up? We got Josh Jurichko, your goalkeeper, in the soccer sedan on the way to practice. He's done for the legacy this year. I have no problem helping him. Uh, I feel like the answer is D, Celtic. So I'm going to take their advice. I'm going to go with D, Celtic Football Club. Thank God. I, I, All three of us got it wrong. Celtic, they play, they play in Scotland. Bit of a trick here. It's not Celtic. It's actually Dundalk. All right. Josh, you know what that is? That, that's a yellow card. That's yellow a yellow card. card. Oh, man. One more, and you're doing sprints, and I got Lewis Castellic, the head coach, on my phone, and he's he, he knows. All right, Josh, we're here at practice. It's time for the moment of truth. We are about to find out if you will make the team sprints or if you will leave with the prize. Question five. The Republic of Ireland has not qualified for a World Cup since 2002. They just missed out on making the 2010 World Cup after Thierry Henry illegally handled the ball in his opponent's penalty area. 
What player converted Henri's pass to send Ireland crashing out of qualifiers and became known as one of the most controversial moments in soccer? Was it A, Patrice Evra, B, William Gallus, C, Kareem Benzema, or D, Florent Maluda? <laughs> well, I will go with A, Patrice Evra. I'm running sprints, aren't I? On the line! It was B, William Gallus. All right. I'm going to send you off. It, that's a red card. All right. You're out of the soccer sedan. All right, get, get out of here. Get to practice. You guys need it. I'm going to call Lou now. You guys are going to sprint. I'm out of here. Wish me luck. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thanks, K-Block. Cheers, cheers. The bloody sprints, they go. Ever remembers Henri, but no one remembers William Gallus. Everyone, stop what you're doing. It is time for you to become a passenger of the soccer stand. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, get in with a like, and post in the comments how many questions you got right or an upcoming topic you want to see covered in the soccer sedan. Be sure to challenge a friend, share this with them, ask how many they got right. And of course, the soccer stand is always going, so be sure to check out another episode by clicking here. I want to wish you a very happy St. Patrick's Day, a very safe one. And of course, keep the ball rolling on this football we call planet. See ya!